honor to stand up here in front of the greatest football players of all time and be included in that group. If you think about it, of all the people who have played this game from Little League, Junior High, College, Pro, and you select a few for enshrinement, this is truly amazing. Football has given me a chance to meet people from all parts of the world, travel to all parts, and have lots of memories. I did not have championship rings, but I have memories, and I'll share some of those with you today. I remember playing in Baltimore when the Unitas was great, and every time they scored a touchdown, this horse would circle the stadium. When the 49ers came to play, they'd bring a, a trailer load of horses. <laughs> I actually felt sorry for those horses as many times they had to run around that damn stadium. I played in a game at Keysar when Jim Marshall picked up the ball and ran the wrong way. To give you an idea how good we were, two of our guys were chasing him, were going to try to tackle him. But thank God Jim was faster and didn't catch him. Another part of history was a game in Chicago. We watched Gale Sears score six touchdowns. If the Bears hadn't ran out of oxygen, he might have scored six more. It was the greatest performance in football history. And I remember going to the Pro Bowl that year and being so excited because Gail was going to be on the same team I was on and I was going to see him up close for the first time. <laughs> now 30 years later I'm standing here with the greatest of all time. I don't have words that would do justice for this moment but I want to leave you with this thought. There are now 204 people in the Hall of Fame. Think of how many guys have been associated with this game in the past and how many will be involved in the next hundred years. There are only so few that make it to this select group. Amazing, isn't it? This is truly amazing. <laughs>